Welcome back to Exploring Whiskies. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we're going to be doing the Red Breast 15 year single pot still Irish whiskey. This is, well, one, it's delicious. <laughs> I've already, uh, already cracked this one open uh, and we've sampled. It's very good. And almost everything we've had from yes. the Red Breast series is, is delicious. This is slightly different than the 12 year because just like the 12 year ex bourbon, ex sherry cast, but they don't. Uh, no color, no filter. That's mm. the kicker. There are no chill filters. There's a little more oil to this one. The reason why they do that is because it's at 92 proof. The reason why people do the chill filtering is if your proof is less than 86, um, sometimes the whiskey can get cloudy. Okay. But if it's over 86, it's fine. Yeah, that's 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 that. Yeah, I remember, I remember sampling this and sending you the picture, and then you... And then like two, found, two days later, two days later, you found it. I found it at a liquor store down in uh, Florida. I know we've done the regular red brass on here. I know at the last whiskey club meeting, which we haven't filmed that twelve, we had the the twelve cash drink, mm -hmm. which was really really nice. Uh, but 92 is, uh, it's, it's decent. Everything to do with almost all Irish whiskey is now done out of the, the Middleton distillery. Um, a lot of, lot of the distilleries had to shut down between prohibition, breaking away from England, all that kind of stuff. So they started their own, uh, they kind of all went on in on one big distilling plant, but Jameson's there. There, there's a lot of different whiskey that is done there, but this one is, uh, this one's pretty good. It's like the scotch in the Irish world, it was all about sourcing, where it's frowned upon over here yeah. for a long time until... And now it flips around. Now it flips around, where sourcing is... Everybody's sourcing and finishing and bourbons. Yeah, it's like, now it's, it's, what's your finishing game like? And now Ireland, they're, they're launching more and more new distilleries yep. because they, you know, they don't all want to go to the one place. It's a lighter nose. Not, I, I can get this, the sherry. A little bit. Yeah. It's very faint. There's I'm nice thinking, sweetness. I'm thinking this one's going to be really good with water. Oh yeah. yeah with non-chill filter, probably. Yeah. A lot of oils to open up. See, that's what I like. That bot, that's I mean, good. there's so many notes. There's like a bunch of little notes in there. There's that oil on the top of your mouth. Yeah, that's coats yeah, it. to your point. That water is just going to yeah, pop this all open. There's a little warmth to it. There's a fruity sweetness to it. There's like that sweet cherry note comes through a little bit. I'm trying to think of what that fruit is, though. I've I'm got it. Sure. It's just kind of hanging around, but I can't. Yeah, it's there, but it's it's all it's really a light. I'm gonna say pear, but I don't know if that's quite right. I almost want to say plum. The nose is just there's nothing there for me. Yeah, it's really light. It's all in the palate. Yeah, the palate has so many more, so much more complex, so much more like just body to it. Different notes come through. The nose is sweet, kind of a little fruit. So me, I put it in, just kind of let it sit there. I got a good pepper note. In the beginning. Yeah, I could see a def like a white pepper note. Yep. Yeah, I could definitely see that. There's a little tingle on the tongue. But once you start making it way back, it gets sweet. It just it goes just sweet. sweetens up. And and to your point, that oil is just like coats the oh, yeah. mouth. It just sits there. Okay. Let's play this experiment. I'm almost kind of excited for for what happens here. It is really good. Uh, I'm not. But but let me take a step back. I'm not overly excited because I think it's good, like it's horrible <laughs> and this is going to make it better. It is that palate is really good. I just think the amount of oil mm -hmm. is going to be an explosion of flavors here. So what was the uh, cost for this one? <laughs> what? I don't remember and I can't find the receipt. I was on vacation and transportation and such. I think like 110, 120, something along those lines. I really, I just, I don't know. It's sweet, but you, I mean, it, I keep pushing my nose so far in, then all that, all I'm getting is like ethanol. I don't even get that. Uh, if you, I'm like, you put your no whole nose in there. I do like almost a, like a sweet bread note now. I am starting to get more of a doughy bread note. Can't say it changed a lot. Just a, just a little bit, just. 
You got more warmth. Yeah. And the fruit in the water feel darker. Like it's a taste of a darker fruit now. Now I can go to your plums. Like I wasn't it wasn't I always felt like it needed it a was chocolate lighter. Now. Like more of a milk chocolate. I don't think I got that yet. I kind of want it. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for like a like a cherry. I was like a quart. Now that I got a chocolate. I was like, ooh, a little cherry cordial would be nice. I just took a really big pool. Yeah. That pepper note is really apparent. Like your my whole mouth tingles. Like I still got a little tingle. And then. But the pepper, I still got it, but not as strong as I did without the water. Man, I don't know what that fruit is. I, I, it's just like I don't have a reference in my brain to put to what that is. There's a fruity note. I just don't know what that fruity note is. Did it say on here any kind of fruit notes? Uh, full, rich, complex, bound. Okay. Berry fruits. <laughs> That's very specific. Aromatic oils. They're definitely oily. Mellow. Fleshy fruit. Man, they are really. Want to talk about nondescript? That would be a plum. Yeah, that's a fleshy. Yeah, that's a fleshy fruit. Almost like a raspberry now. I can definitely see that. Like a yeah, I could definitely see a raspberry or a black um, like a blackberry note. I get the raspberry. If you hold on to it for a little bit and just kind of swish it around, don't aerate it. Just swish it around. Just just that. a little raspberry. Yeah. A lot of different fruit notes. Some pepper notes. Sweet notes. Nothing's popping though. Like there's not one note that's popping, but there's just a lot of really good I kind think of it's blending. Very well blended. Blended, balanced. Like this is a really good sipper. You could sit there and just kind of sip it and get something different probably every time you take a sip. Like get a little you know, a little this fruit, a little that fruit, a little more honey on this one, a little more pepper on that one. I don't think you can go wrong with this one. No. All. No. What I'd love and I know they make it, but castrate. it's really hard to find is their castrate version yeah. of this. They did a really good job on this one. It's a very good, it's still a very good bottle, but man, I, I would really love to try the castrate version. Red Brass, 15 single pot stills in the book. Yeah, man. No, definitely worth the, uh, the find there. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty happy to grab this and one. And whatever you paid for it. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> I don't know. It's 110, 120, something like that. I can't, I just really can't remember. Well, if you come across it at your local liquor store or in your travels, it's definitely worth splurging on. Yeah. Because this, it, is, this is really good. Get yourself a pour. Really good. This. Well, I hope you enjoyed our review. Uh, if you did, as always, we'd, we'd love the support of the channel. Hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, subscribe. We put out content like this uh, twice a week or so. And we'd love to keep growing the channel and sharing our journey of exploring all kinds of whiskey with you. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.